What's up everybody, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a loader dialog and hide that from any single controller. Welcome back to channel CodeX, I'm your host Afzal and as I said, today we'll be dealing with show loading and hide loading. All right, so let's go ahead and define two methods inside our base controller so that we can refer it from other controllers. So the method will be show loading and hide loading. Of course, for show loading, we need parameter, what message we want to display. And for hide loading, we don't need anything such that. And as you have guessed it, I'm not going to implement all those dialog thing over here. For that, we have dialog helper. So let's go ahead and define show loading and hide loading implementation in the dialog helper. And just like the previous video, I'm going to use get.dialog with the dialog class. And this is pretty simple implementation. You can just stop the video and see what controls I have used and what alignments, spacing and everything I've used. This is pretty straightforward. Next up for hide loading, we're gonna do a check before we hide the dialog. So we'll do a check if the dialog is open or not. And if it's open, we're just gonna say get.back. It's that simple. At this point, we're gonna go to base controller and call this show loading and hide loading methods with the message parameter. And now it's time to use these functions inside our page controller. Let's go ahead and do that. You may be thinking where to put this show loading and hide loading. The show loading will go just before the await call. So when you are waiting for something, you will show the loading dialog. And when you're done waiting, like you got the response, either failure or success, you're gonna hide the loader. Now, as you can see, we are hiding the loader in case of success, but what if it goes wrong? So inside handle error also will call hide loading. So if anything goes wrong, it will hide the loader dialog. How easy it was to implement show loading and hide loading. Let's go ahead and see that in action. You can see the loader dialog, but one thing I've noticed that the message is not being displayed. And the reason because we are not passing any message as a parameter and the default value is empty. So we'll put the default value something as loading generic one. So if you don't specify anything, it says loading. And if you are specifying any message, it's going to show that. So let me go ahead and do that real quick inside post method. I will say posting data inside get method. I will say fetching data and it's gonna look exactly the same inside the loader dialog. Wow, that was really simple, isn't it? Make sure you hit the like button if this video helped you in any way and consider subscribing the channel because I upload regularly basis on Flutter topic and a lot of other programming contents. That's it for this video. I will see you guys in the next one.